evening. You're watching TMB News. I'm Anju Sukha. Let's have a look at the top stories of the day. Mayraba Luang Maishnam will take on world champion Kunlavut with its son of Thailand in the quarterfinal of the Thailand Open on Friday. Continuing with his giant killing spree, Mayraba advanced to the quarterfinals of the prestigious Super 500 tournament in Bangkok by outclassing Mats Christofferson of Denmark in straight games 21-14, 22-20. The 21-year-old will be locking horns in the first quarterfinal of a Super 500 tournament with the Thai who is currently ranked number 8 in the world and has been a three times junior world champion. Kokomi coordinator Thokchom Somorendro has said, People must realize that what they are witnessing in Manipur is not ethnic violence but a proxy war where the cookies are mere pawns being utilized as frontline soldiers by the Indian security forces against the Maitis. He was speaking at the 22nd Foundation Day of Ethno Heritage Council, Harikaun, on Thursday. Principal of Free Progress Academy, Konthaujam, has on Thursday thanked former students and guardians of students who have extended financial assistance towards the repair of the school that received severe damages due to the hailstorm on May 5 on behalf of its teaching and non-teaching staff. The principal of the school, L. Indrakumar, said the fence portion of the roofs of the school building, hostel and library suffered extensive damages whereas assorted materials at the library, computers and CCTV system were also destroyed from the wrath of nature. NSCN IM has taken strong exception to national media reports sourced from the National Investigation Agency NIA that China-Myanmar module of NSCN helped ban outfits in Manipur. In a rejoinder, NSCN IM through its MIP described that as only not misleading but cruel and vicious as it was too far from the point of accuracy and morally not ethical at all stating that it was sensitive to the propaganda war waged by the central government against it even after signing the ceasefire agreement and engaging in political talks for the last 27 years. The NSC and IM accused the central government agencies of hitting below the belt. A team of Manipur police have arrested three drug peddlers, including two women from Nambol Maibam Chingmang under Bishnupur police station on Wednesday. The arrested person have been identified as Rukshana, Rabina and MD Sabir Khan. The police team recovered and seized 13 soap cases containing heroin powder and one four-wheeler from their possession. The arrested persons and the seized items were handed over to Nambal Police Station, a police report said. On the other hand, a team of Manipur police arrested an individual identified as Laishram Rajeshwar Singh of Imphal East from Sanakaitel, Imphal West for illegal possession of firearms. Old Kongba Road United Club's organization Akruko has on Thursday strongly condemned the brutal assault on members of Kongba Youth Organization KYO, Kongba Nongtongpam Lekai by armed miscreants coming in two four-wheeler vehicles, a Scorpio and a Gypsy, on the previous night. Akruko, in a press statement issued by its convener, Lenin Hirom, stated that the unfortunate incident took place on Wednesday evening at around 8 p.m. when the members of KYO were discussing about restoration of the club's ground. The Dr. Tiam Shures Literary Award for this year will be conferred to noted writer Dr. Yaiskul Kwarakpam, announced the Patriotic Writers Forum Manipur on Thursday. The award will be presented at a function which will be organized at Ima Banquet Hall at Kashampat Junction on May 23, 2024. It carries a cash of Rs. 10,000, a shawl, a citation and a memento. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in last 10 years of his rule has changed the image of India abroad and has emerged as a true global leader and eminent Indian American community leader has said. Modi ji is changing the image of Indians not just in India but in the world. He is now considered a global leader. I do believe Modi is reviving Indian pride, Indian culture and ancient Indian knowledge of yoga, mindfulness and Ayurveda, Dr. Bindu Kumar Kansupada and Indian American cardiologist from Philadelphia told PTI in an interview on Wednesday. 
In IPL cricket, Sunrisers Hyderabad will lock horns with Gujarat Titans at the Rajiv Gandhi International Cricket Stadium in Hyderabad on Thursday. Hyderabad hold fourth spot with 14 points and Subman Gill led Gujarat Titans are placed on eighth position with 11 points. Earlier, Punjab Kings beat the Rajasthan Royals by five wickets at the Bersapara Cricket Stadium, Gauti, last night. Opting to bat first, Rajasthan Royals posted a mere 144 for nine in the stipulated 20 overs. In reply, Punjab Kings scored 145 for five in 18.5 overs to win the match last evening. For Rajasthan, it was their fourth defeat on the trot, but they remain second on the table with 16 points, while Punjab has moved up from 10th to 9th position.